On this episode of China Uncensored, China wants to tell you about the South China Sea. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. An international United Nations tribunal may have ruled against China's claims to the South China Sea, but the Chinese Communist Party has something the UN doesn't have. Billions of dollars to spend on propaganda. The Chinese regime has invested $8.9 billion in what they call external publicity works, that is, spreading its propaganda message to the West. They've bought newspapers, television networks. They even created an English-language version of state-run CCTV and put its headquarters seven blocks from the White House. And hey, newspapers around the world are struggling financially. Why not just pay them to put propaganda side by side with actual journalism? They call it China Watch. Here it is in the Wall Street Journal, the Daily Telegraph, and the New York Times. And then there's this. If you haven't noticed the giant ad for Communist Party mouthpiece Xinhua in the center of Times Square, you're probably playing too much Pokemon Go. Oh, but it's been there. Broadcasting Chinese propaganda 24-7, 365 days a year since 2011. Yes, for five years. At that time, this prime piece of ad space was estimated to cost at least $300,000 a month. And the Communist Party is putting it to good use now. Check this out. Okay, so you can't actually hear the sound in Times Square, but it's a video explaining why the South China Sea clearly belongs to the Communist Party and why the Hague ruling is illegitimate. The newest one has been playing 120 times a day since July 23rd. And its last day is August 3rd, so hurry to Times Square before it's too late. I'm kidding, of course. As a New Yorker, I recommend you avoid Times Square like the plague. Fortunately, the video can also be seen online. It's one among many propaganda videos on the South China Sea you can enjoy from China state-run media. Here's a fun animation of a grandpa telling his granddaughter about why the South China Sea belongs to China. Well, I think those countries should really look at the history. Then they'll see that China was the first to settle there, the first to trade there, and the first to make the area secure. You can believe it, because Grandpa has a British accent. Ooh. Then there's this one from China Daily. It shows foreigners trashing the tribunal. China has a position, a long-standing position, and it, it's not budging. That's weird. No, not that those quotes sound like they could merely be describing China's position, not supporting it, but the China Daily used the same hip-hop bass line as this song about tricking people and then stabbing them to death. Just saying. Anyway, are you shocked that the Chinese Communist Party's propaganda can be played in New York's Times Square? Well, I'll tell you who was shocked. Catherine West. She's a member of the UK Parliament. Here's what she said in the video about the South China Sea. That's where we have to be careful that, yes, we need to resolve something very locally and have a, 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 um, a grown-up approach to dialogue. Well, that's just what China is always saying about the South China Sea. She gave that interview at the 5th China-Europe High-Level Political Parties Forum in Beijing, held in May 2016. Except when Quartz reached out to her for comment, it turned out grown-up dialogue is still lacking. Not only did nobody tell her they were going to use her interview for this, they completely quoted her out of context. What she was actually saying is that China has been militarizing the region and it needs to stop doing that and start using dialogue like grown-ups. Not exactly the same message, but you wouldn't know that if you were watching in Times Square. So how do you feel about the Chinese regime broadcasting its message in Times Square? Want to support an alternative? Join my China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. Sure, China has billions of dollars, but I have you. Go to patreon.com slash China Uncensored and become a patron. For 50 cents an episode or whatever you can afford, you can support me and my team exposing the Chinese regime's billions of dollars of propaganda. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. 
Nothing speaks to the glory of Tibetan Buddhism like core socialist values. In case you haven't heard, this is where World War III is going to start. Thank you.